Hi guys, welcome to Pebble Connect Workshop. So in this video, we are going to learn how to integrate type form to Google Sheet. Our use case is pretty simple. When a new form submission is made in type form, it will create a new spreadsheet row in Google Sheet. Now type form is an amazing form builder and Google Sheet is your favorite spreadsheet program. So what we are going to do is we are going to send the data from type form to Google Sheet. However, there is one minor problem. Of course, Typeform and Google Sheet have some kind of integration between them, but it's actually very limited. That is why in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Typeform and Google Sheet. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done in two easy steps. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so this is my type form and here I am going to submit a form with dummy details of a person. So we can expect that the data to be filled in Google Sheets. So let me fill the form, get in touch. The person's name is, let's say, Ryan. Okay. The last name, let's say, is James. Okay. So what is uh, Ryan's email address? Ryan's email address at the rate gmail.com okay so Ryan lives in let's say scroll down scroll down Cameroon then click on submit okay so let's see whether we have a person called as Ryan in our Google Sheets yes uh, there is a person called as Ryan James and this is the email address and the location is Cameroon Okay, so this means the data is being sent from type form to Google Sheets. But as I mentioned before, initially there was no integration between type form and Google Sheets. That is why I have used a third app called as Pabli Connect to integrate them both. So in this video, I will explain in step by step process to integrate type form and Google Sheets with help of Pabli Connect. It is actually an easy two step process. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all, let's go to Google and type Pabli Connect. Pabli connect this is the link click this and here click on sign in as you can see this is the dashboard of Pabli connect I already have an account in Pabli connect you can build your own account in just two minutes now scroll down and bring your attention to this part called as connect here click on access now At the right corner, you will find a button called as Create Workflow. Click this. So our dialog box emerges. Here it is asking you to enter a workflow name. I am going to give it as Type Form to Google Sheets. Type Form to Google Sheets. Then click on Create. When you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, change it from webhook to type form. In the choose method, let's keep it as new entry. So the idea is that if there is a new entry or a form submission made in type form, the system will trigger. So if in any case, if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can actually make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to make okay so at present we are just keeping it, keeping it as new entry then click on connect with type form and select your credentials let's keep it as new credentials in authorize application just click on connect okay so just uh, allow access just click on accept okay so it is showing that the authorization is successful just click on ok now here you will find the form I have two forms the event registration form and the registration form so basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to connect a form in type form to Pabli connect for example this is my type form and this is the form I want to connect with called as the registration form so let's change it to registration form and click on save and send test request so when you click on this button our form will be automatically get integrated to Pabli connect so the API response is showing the integration is success. Now let's see whether Pabli Connect can capture any data that is received from type form. 
So to do that, just click on Capture Webhook Response. It is showing it is waiting for the data. So let's go to our registration form and enter some data. Get in touch. The first name is uh, Albert. Okay. The second name is Pander. Okay. Albert. One two three at the rate gmail.com okay so Albert lives in let's say Burma then click on submit okay so the submission has been made so let's see because public connect has been integrated to type form whether public connect has received this data or not so let's go and check yes the data has been received so let's see our results this is the name that is Albert and this is the last name this is the email Albert 123gmail.com and this is the country so we have integrated type form to Paply Connect now we have to sync this data to Google Sheets to do that just click on this plus button when you click on this plus button a window appears in front of you this is called as the action window here in the choose app change it from API to Google Sheets In the choose method, let's keep it as append values. However, you should know we have many action types like update values, delete values, copy a sheet, add new row, and so and so. However, in case if you don't find the action of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific action that you want to make. Okay, but at present, let's keep it as append values. Okay, so obviously you want to ask the question why we are keeping it as append values. I will explain you later. But at present, just click on connect with Google Sheet. In select your credentials, let's keep it as new credentials. In authors application, just click on connect. So I have a series of accounts, Aaron Manual, Lizzie Manual and so on. But the Google Sheet that I have to fill in the data is present in this account. So I'm clicking this account. So it is asking me to come for my choice. Just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. So as you can see, it is showing the spreadsheet as type form. But I actually want this spreadsheet, the newly constructed spreadsheet called as type form to Google Sheet. Okay, the reason it is showing just type form is there is one more sheet called as type form that I have I had previously constructed to show you the example. Okay, so I have to change it from type form to type form to Google Sheets. Now in the sheet, it is showing as sheet one. That is because there is only one sheet called as sheet one. Okay, this sheet. Now coming to values. So basically we have to enter the values into these columns. So as you can see, I have four columns, the first name, the last name, email and the location. Okay, so to denote those columns, we are going to enter four pair of double quotes separated by comma. Let me enter four pair of double quotes separated by comma and double quotes okay so uh, each double quote each pair of double quote actually represents a column okay the first name is represented by this double quote the last name is represented by this double quote the second pair of double quotes the email is represented by the third pair of double quotes and so on okay so now we are going to append the values into these double quotes that is why we had kept the method as append values so let's map in the values in the first pair of double quotes, we are going to map in the name. So the name was uh, Albert. Yes. In the second pair of double quotes, that was for the last name. So it was Spander, I guess. Yes, Spander. And in the third double quote, it was for email. Let's see. Yes, the third double quote is for email. So email is uh, Albert123 at gmail.com. And the fourth double quote is for location yeah location the location i think was uh, burma let's see then click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that it has given the data to google sheets so let's check our google sheet whether we have a person called as albert 
yes the data has arrived the first name is albert the last name is pander the email is albert123 at the rate gmail.com and the location is burma so the presence of this data shows that uh, we have uh, successfully connected Typeform and Google Sheets with help of PabricNet. This means anytime a form submission is made in Typeform, that data will be automatically entered into Google Sheets. But to double check it if the integration is working fine or not, let's make one more form submission in Typeform. But before that, let me show you the whole process in a gist. So uh, scrolling up, yes. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Typeform to PabricConnect and then you have integrated PabricConnect to Google Sheets. Now there is a perfect flow of data between Typeform and Google Sheets. Okay, so let's go back to Typeform and let's make one more form submission. Get in touch. This time let's go with uh, Arnold. Last name is uh, Cameroon. Okay, the email is terminator123 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so Arnold lives in let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say Finland. Arnold is from Finland. Then click on submit. So let's see whether we have a person called as Arnold in our Google Sheets. So going back to Google Sheets, yes, we have a person called as Arnold. His last name is Cameron and the email address is terminator123 at the gmail.com and the location is Finland. So our integration is working absolutely fine. So from now onwards, whenever a form submission is made in type form, it will be reflected in Google Sheets. Not just these two apps, you can integrate a plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or just visit us at www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.